What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'm going to talk about some disappointing news we found out from DICE and EA yesterday. Battlefield 2042 will not run at 120 FPS on new gen consoles. Before I get into all the details, be sure you check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel. Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. You can use code GRAVE at Empire Jerky for 5% off. And Amazon Associates is where I link some things I use every day when gaming or making YouTube videos that you guys might be interested in. Also check out the new merch store that is linked down in the description as well and hit that sub button if you're not subscribed to the channel yet. Now this was a disappointing thing to kind of learn. Uh, we have new gen consoles and we're not going to be able to play uh, Battlefield 2042 at 120 frames. Uh, the game on new gen console will run at 60 FPS. Uh, they said that DICE uh, is work. the game is working well, it's in a good state right now, but there's also some issues still with frame rate and you know screen tearing, that kind of thing. Those have been reported for a while now. People were even talking about them in the new PC trailer that came out yesterday. There were some issues with some of the, you could tell the frames were not running at a smooth FPS at times. So they said new gen consoles right now will only be running at 60 FPS. So that's Xbox Series S and X. Uh, also, they said that they will be looking into maybe being able to improve that uh, later on down the road. But with the big maps, the 128 players, that right now 60 FPS is where they want uh, Battlefield 2042 for new gen consoles. They also kind of went on to talk about that it is a pretty big strain even on really good, uh, you know, PCs. You know, they said there's really good PCs out there that are uh, finding it a bit difficult to run. Battlefield 2042 at 120 FPS all the time consistently. So we never know that that could be something they could work out once the game, you know, has been out for a while. They can get it, the frame rate settled on PC to where it runs smoothly at 120. Uh, and of course, then we might be able to see something like that brought to uh, the new gen side. I know it is disappointing because a lot of players that have new gen consoles want to have their new games, you know, you know, being made just for new gen, also being able to play in higher frame rate. That was something, of course, that was kind of pushed by Sony and by Microsoft when new gen, uh, when new gen consoles came out with, was higher frame rates, you know, being able to play in 4K, all that stuff. But it still seems right now, we're still in that early life cycle of new gen consoles and considering everything that's gone on with them, hard to find that kind of stuff. A lot of companies still don't seem to be just making a game just for new gen and PC. They seem to still be trying to keep old gen and other things in mind. So I'm sure it does hold some things back, but at the same time, I can understand why this is not going to be in the game at launch for new gen consoles, just because of the absolutely massive maps and huge player count. Um, if it runs at a consistent 60 FPS, I'll be happy if they can get 120 down the road that will be really great that would be something i think a lot of us would like to see it is disappointing news i know some people are really frustrated with this but at the same time if the run, game runs at a good 60 fps on new gen console i'll be fine with that for now it will put some console players a bit of a disadvantage uh, compared to pc players if they can play at higher frames so hopefully we'll get a fix for this later down the road anyway guys let me comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like and i'll catch you all next time peace